Hey, Nish here, and if you're wondering just what is Chrome OS or why you'd want to use it, this might be the video for you. In short, Chrome OS is an alternative computer operating system, alternative to the main ones being Windows and Mac. It's based on Linux, and the idea is it's very simple and lightweight and requires less storage and processing power compared to the other operating systems. The idea is that devices that use Chrome OS are always going to be connected to the internet, and the main program you use on them is the web browser, Chrome. On web browsers, you can do a lot of activities, you know, streaming, social media, emails, some simple document writing, maybe booking things. And the idea is that this serves all the needs of the user. The OS is also tailored around using web apps, so you can install a website as an app to make it easier to launch and use. So Chrome OS devices are pretty easy to get going. You just need a Google account to log in. And since the OS is a lot more locked down, they can be a bit more secure than, for example, Windows devices. There is, of course, a downside to all of this simplicity. Essentially, not all programs are available from the get go. And actually, Chrome OS was very limited in its early days because you really couldn't get much functionality. However, over the last few years, there's been a lot of improvements. So firstly, many years back, they added full Android app support. So you can install most of the apps you can find on the Play Store. And this really widens the functionality. Now, I'll admit it can be a little bit awkward sometimes if you don't have a touchscreen Chromebook because sometimes the apps will open with a mobile UI and so they're a bit tricky to navigate with touchpad or mouse. More importantly though, there is also the support to install Linux apps. Now you do have to install a Linux environment which requires 10 gig of space. So this is quite a lot um, if you have a device that doesn't have a lot of storage. I have a review of a 32 gig Chromebook where I only had about 16 gig free after installing a few apps. So you might run into some space issues. The ability to install Linux apps really breaks open the functionality because there's a lot of good programs available free on Linux. So just some examples off the top of my head, GIMP image video editor, LibreOffice, which is a great Microsoft Office alternative, which is free. Also things like Audacity, you can install programming languages. So that actually brings Chrome OS up to a similar functionality as a Linux-based device, but it's still really easy to use and set up. So if we discard the Linux apps for a moment, one of the problems you have with Chrome OS as it comes base is it's not really designed for offline use. So Google did add some functionality to Gmail, to Google Drive, and to Google Keep to do some things offline. But you know, if you're in a situation where you want to write a document or something and you're offline, unless you've installed something like LibreOffice, you might be a little bit stuck. So it is really designed for internet connected devices. But one nice thing is because of all this Google functionality, if you have an Android phone, it's really easy to integrate your phone with the operating system. So you can receive your notifications, you can share files and also messages. So I'm going to try and package this up in terms of some pros and cons. So firstly, some of the pros of Chrome OS, it's lightweight and it's pretty fast. And what I think this mainly means is a cheap Chrome OS device is typically going to be better to use than a cheap Windows device because Windows is a lot more slowed down by low processing power. The simplicity of the OS also makes it quite easy to use and secure. So it can be good for less tech savvy people who only need to do some basic tasks. On the other hand, you're a little bit limited apps wise unless you opt for installing that Linux environment environment to get some Linux apps on there. But generally, there will be some situations where you maybe if you have a particular program you want to use, this is typically stuff that's more power users, high performance users. So all in all, deciding if Chrome OS is going to be suitable for you, I think it's a case of writing down the kinds of tasks you're going to use your computer device for, and just making sure that they're covered by the needs of Chrome OS. It's also good to consider what kind of budget range you're looking at, because if you have a very low budget, then your needs might be served better by a Chromebook rather than being frustrated by a very slow experience on a Windows laptop. Okay, so I hope this video has been useful. Please leave any questions you have in the comments and also your opinions on Chrome OS and whether you think it's worthwhile to use nowadays. Subscribe for more to the point content and I'll catch you in the next one.